Hello all. In this video, we are going to look at uh, how to work with Civil 3D corridor frequencies. Currently on my screen, I have an alignment, I have a profile and also I have super elevations on that alignment and also I have an assembly and I have created a corridor as well. For the corridor, I have two target lines. It will target these two lines up to this point and after that it will target, the corridor will target uh, these two lines so i will turn on my corridor here and you can see my corridor is like this so let us understand what is corridor frequency lines corridor frequency lines is these magenta color lines along the corridor so these are the locations where the assemblies are applied and connect through the frequency lines to get the corridor or the 3d model of the road or whatever the uh, design you are doing with civil 3d so if you go to the corridor properties and access the corridor frequencies from here here or here so from here you can access the region properties from here you can access the total baseline properties or all the frequencies and from here you can apply to all baselines uh, according to the situation so currently i will go to here and change the frequencies First, we will understand what are the frequencies here. So, we have basically major two components along tangents and color curves. That means along tangents, the frequencies will be added. These frequencies will be added at 10 meter intervals and curves also, it will be added on 10 meter intervals at an increment. So, if I change this to 20 and this is a straight section. So, if I click OK and apply here, you will see these changes so that means the corridor frequency lines along the tangent will be changed to 20 meter interval so at that time this varies earlier this was 10 meters but now it varies because you have 20 and 10 so let us say we will move back to 10 and we will change this to 20 All right so i click ok so you can see here we have a curve so when you apply you will see now at the curve they will be changed so again currently this increment is at these photo frequency lines are at 20 meter increment if you change it to by curvature it will apply the corridor frequency lines according to the mid ordinate distance defined here currently i have defined it as 0 0.02 on my right side of the screen you will see what is meant by uh, mid ordinate distance so if you apply it here and click ok and apply it here you will see these locations will be changing you can see now the locations change and also they are not at uh, fixing uh, rounded frequencies like earlier it was 220 40 like that now they are at odd stations that is because of the curvature so that is how to apply corridor frequencies according to the curvature so you can set both if you need or you can uh, usually we are set it to uh, increment at 10 meter so i will click ok and click apply here now it is at 10 meter interval so I click OK here. So I have my alignment and I have a curve starting here and that curve ends here. So I go to back to my corridor properties. Now I am going to apply corridor frequencies at the horizontal geometry points. Horizontal geometry points. I click OK. So this horizontal geometry point means the points where have horizontal geometry changes so here we have a start of curve after that here we have end of curve so that means your horizontal geometry changes so it will apply like here it will apply corridor frequency lines at this point and this point so if you click apply here you will see you have you got a new frequency line here and frequency line here as well so that is about applying corridor frequency lines 
at the horizontal geometry points then I click OK here so now I move on to my profile so here I have the super elevation development so here you can see at 207.65 I have a super elevation critical point that means a begin full super and also you have 174.04 you have something like here and again we have some uh, super elevation critical points at this side first we will just memorize this station and this station 174.04 and 207.65 so once you apply the corridor frequency lines at the super elevation critical stations these stations will get frequency lines I will click OK here and if I go back here well, you can see 207 somewhere here somewhere uh, somewhere here I think you get a frequency line and 170 something you have another frequency line so there are a lot of frequency lines because of the changing in super elevation uh, all these come because of the super elevation critical points so again I have to tell you the if you increase the number of corridor frequency lines that means your corridor is more accurate so if you have more frequency light lines at every changing point that means your corridor is more accurate in the meantime you have to understand that more corridor frequency line means more complex corridor and your uh, speed of the model will be uh, drastically uh, decreased because of the corridor frequency lines well again we will move back to the corridor frequency lines so so that is about those the horizontal baselines about the vertical baselines along vertical curves it will apply corridor frequency lines currently I have 1000 here but I don't have vertical curves that has a distance of or the vertical curve length of 1000 so it will not apply any vertical curve uh, frequency lines here so if I change this to 10 meter interval it will apply corridor frequency lines at every 10 meter interval along the corridor but sometimes uh, depending on the horizontal baseline or horizontal geometry horizontal frequency lines this may coincide with each other so I will if I change this to let's say 5 you will see uh, frequency lines will be added at 5 meter intervals so you can see you have a vertical curve here at a station like 110 105, 110, 115 at 5 meter interval you should have frequency lines you can see here 100, 105, 110, 15, 20 so you have the corridor frequency lines so in the meantime as I told earlier at vertical geometry point means at start of curve and end of curve of the horizontal vertical geometry that is what is meant by these two again at high low point means if you have a crest vertical curve you have a high point so it will the high point station will be shown here if you go to the vertical profile so it will at the uh, geometry point at high point so if you have a sag curve it will have you will have a low point so it will also at the uh, horizontal vertical geometry point at low points uh, which makes the corridor more accurate so I will apply and they will be applied I am not going to show it to you then I am going to the uh, one of the most important parts about target geometry points target points of the corridor so the corridor frequency lines uh, can be applied depending on the target points so I am currently using Civil 3D 2024 most of the Civil 3D 2000 uh, 24 and up until I think 2018 you have these kind of things and uh, also after 2015 you have these things uh, sometimes if you have a very older version these things might not be here right so now I am moving on to offset target geometry points so before that we will go to the corridor and see how the things work offset target geometry point means this is the offset this is the target and this is the target 
offset target geometry point means the geometry points of the target so you can see it is in this target this target line change the direction from here and also it change direction from here so this is a geometry point uh, and this is not a geometry point because this you have a discontinuation here so I will press escape and I am going to corridor properties and go to preference frequencies and I will apply yes here and click OK so when I click apply you will see a frequency line appearing here at this target geometry point you can see it applied so once it applied the corridor becomes more accurate otherwise it will have a corridor line like this which is not very accurate so that is about that one then I will move back to the corridor frequencies and go to frequency line editor then there's another important part called adjacent offset target start and end so this is very important so if I click OK and go here you can see that actually this corridor should go up to here and come back here go up to here and come back here the corridor will be connected through the frequency point it will connect the first frequency point at this place and the last frequency point at this place which causes a problem here but if the correct one should be come together like this so once you applied this option adjacent to offset target start and end it will make a correct guess here so what happens here is it apply two frequency lines adjacent to each other if I zoom here you can see you have two frequency lines after before the correct target of location and after the target location so it will give you more accurate corridor here so earlier we did this by manual uh, uh, addition of frequency lines or changing the regions but you can now do it automatically with this option in civil 3d again if you have curves if you have curves on the offset target like here so click ok for the moment so if you have offset target curve here instead of this variation if you have a curve you can add the increment parts or by curvature parts in here like earlier we did in here so that is uh, something I'm not going to explain it is same like here and the other part is if you need to if you want to add a custom frequency line at any location you can do it from here let us say I need to add a custom frequency line at station something like here 281 281 so that is not a a common frequency line station depending on the frequencies we used that means we used 10 meter interval and 20 meter interval likewise 281 is none of that option so if you want something at 281 to make the corridor more accurate let us say we add 281 and press ok and press ok again you will see 281 is added here if I press ok and click apply you will see 281 frequency line is coming here so let us say you need to add some custom frequency lines at uh, various uh, locations 281 283 291 like that so at that uh, still at that time what you need to do is you can type these values on Excel like here you can type these values on Excel then click here select them all right click copy now go back to civil 3d and go to frequencies go to add here so instead of typing everything click the mouse place the mouse cursor here right click and then paste now everything will be added now and click enter and you will see every frequency line station is now added and I will click OK and 
click OK. Now you will have so many custom frequency lines at various intervals according to your needs. That is how to add and how to understand the corridor frequency lines in Civil 3D. So more the frequency lines you have, more the accurate of your corridor, but you have to uh, make sure that it might make your uh, performance of Civil 3D little bit uh, slower because of the number of uh, frequency lines you used.